John, oh, pick the bones out of that, I guess. What did you, what did you make of it? Uh, I thought we were poor. Um, for whatever reason. Um, we just didn't move the ball quickly enough with too many touches on the ball, especially with the pivot back, and allowed them to uh, set themselves. And uh, it wasn't what we were doing pre season, that's why I said pre season means nothing. You find out more today than, than in all the games we've played in pre season. Um, the one time that we got the ball forward quickly, we scored from. Um, so, again, so we've got to learn from that. But um, at the moment, obviously, uh, um, I'm not too happy. Pre-season, last pre-season game against Sunderland. I know you'd said defensively that's where I would, you know, it's where I like to build my teams from, and it's very, very clear that was a, a point for you. So, does that does that concern you more, especially considering the goals conceded? I guess. Yeah, because I think you'll always get goals, um, especially in this league. You know, we've got players who are capable of, of creating and, and scoring. Um, as we said, the big priority is not to concede and to concede three and three goals in the way that we did um, is, uh, is poor, especially when uh, you work on things uh, for a long time and then uh, with the first goal when people are not in the correct positions where you've gone yeah, beyond words really. But um, like I say, we've learnt a lot about one or two and uh, it's not just about having uh, ability as regards control of the ball. It was about determination and lots at times. One thing I would say is that uh, obviously we're three down and then we come back to three two. <laughs> but I think it's easier to play uh, in that situation when there's you know, when he goes down than uh, sometimes when he's down there. Any questions for you about the validity of the goals? Because there seem to be a few contentious goals this afternoon. Yeah, we can't. But we can't, obviously we can't. Uh, um, you know, it's happened. It's how you bounce back. And we had two great opportunities. We've gone one down uh, from a debatable goal, uh, and we should score. And then that gives us a lift, uh, affects them, and uh, we didn't take the chances. It, you know, we were simple chances as well. We won't get better, better chances than, than those two first off. And then, uh, as I say, the second one, I've just looked at it, it doesn't look as though it's gone over the line. But again, uh, you shouldn't get the cross in. Uh, that's what I'm more concerned about, is the amount of crosses that come in. Yeah, it seems set pieces in particular this afternoon were a real worry. Yeah, and we know that they're good, you know, they've got a lot of players who are decent in the air. Um, I mean, you know, it's not something they don't work on. <laughs> But um, very often it's the same face that, uh, that we don't react to. So, again, we can keep working at it. Um, hopefully, we can uh, do something about it. Um, whether that's a change of personnel or um, whether people learn quickly. Do you think it's a, not necessarily for you, but an eye opener for some of the players in terms of after such a positive pre season that, you know, for that to then happen, do you think it is a bit of a reality check, if you like? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully they realise now that uh, you know you're not going to just turn up and the whole team's over. You, first of all, you've got to compete, work hard, uh, and win, win second balls. And you won't always play well. So when you don't play well, you've got to do uh, the horrible stuff. Um, well, I think probably we got sucked in, uh, especially lads at the back, just passing the ball with no pace on on the ball and, and going nowhere. Mm. And, uh, that's when you've got to get teams turned early and, and go and play from there. And then once you've got them turned a few times, then you create space in midfield. And uh, well, it's all things that we've talked about and all things that they should know. And I know you touched upon it there, but the fact that you come back and you know you got to three two, do you take any take any not pleasure from that, but do you take any confidence from that going forward that you know 3-0 down, could have capitulated, didn't, and got back into it to no, make it No, I think one or two kept going. Yeah. There's one or two who didn't. There's one or two who threw the towel in. And again, that's where you know, it tells us about the mentality. So, um, but no, such as Josh Amira kept, kept going. You know, plenty of talk about Josh going. And what, what, I thought Josh, you couldn't have tried any harder. And he's the one really who got us going. Um, so, uh, no, there's one or two who, you know, can hold their heads up still. 
but uh, one or two need to have a look at themselves. How do you, uh, what, what do the next couple of days look like then as you look to switch focus onto Gateshead now? How do you try and either pick them up, rile them up, whatever you have to do? Well, hopefully that riles them up because uh, if it doesn't, then we're in trouble. Uh, and we've seen a lot of teams who, who come down uh, and uh, you know, we get into that rut. We can't let that happen. So um, we've got to uh, come in Monday morning work hard again, uh, forget today, and that will be the same if we'd have won. Um, but, uh, and then we need to have a look at uh, how we're playing and how we're going to stop Gateshead. Question about just on the penalty, you surprised that Amera didn't take it? I think Amera was surprised he didn't take it, but he got he got the goal at the end of it, I guess. Yeah, J uh, obviously Jake had won the penalty, he'd scored just before yeah. and fancied it, so uh, uh, and luckily for him that Josh finished off and it was a great finish. So, um, but what was disappointing after that, we got into positions where we could could have put them under some pressure, and um, you know the execution of the pass forward was, was poor, as, as we all saw. So, um, yeah, a lot to improve on, um, and um, yeah. So one or two stern words sent to the players. And just finally, a word about the travelling support. We know that Hartlepool United fans travel well in their numbers. 537 who made the, the trip this afternoon. Just a word about their support because it, for the full 90 minutes, whatever was going on on the pitch, they, they didn't stop supporting. No, they all do, but our players have got to realise they won't continue to do that. Mm. If, if we don't start going on these up and uh, winning set goals and and playing with a bit of uh, devil in a, a play, then they won't, they won't put up with that. So we've got to make sure that we get them on side and give them something to shout about. But, uh, as you say, the followers in their numbers, and uh, they're, they're fantastic, but you can't put up with, with what's gone on today. Appreciate it, John. Cheers. Thank you.